I'm back again. So, it's time for the second to last track of the album. This is called Ions. Negative Ions, I guess it is. So, track 14, let's go. Maybe this is just a big interlude of four minutes. electricity going on <laughs> that felt so weird Production is very good as usual. Very good at creating this picture, like in your mind, you know. I wonder what's in store for the last one. This one as well. What an electric song. <laughs> That's very electric. Also because of the title. I mean negative ions, really. But anyway, we've come to the last track of the record. It's called Third Eye. It's track number 15. And it's 14 minutes long. So... Yeah, we're in for a ride, I guess. So, uh, I mean, let's just let's just go. Start with some heartbeats. 
See, I think drugs have done some good things for us. I really do. And if you don't believe drugs have there done good things for us, do me a favor. Go home tonight, take all your albums, all your tapes, and all your CDs and burn them. Because you know what? The musicians who made all that great music that's enhanced your lives throughout the years. Real, Real fucking, fucking high, high on drugs. <laughs> Bill Hicks, man. He's cool. He was cool. Surely very different, but he had a very unique energy that you really can't find anywhere else. No matter if you agree with him or not. You certainly can like people without having to agree with them or like everything they say. With the weather. Oh yeah. It's not a war on drugs, it's a war on personal freedom, is what it is, okay? Keep that in mind at all times. Thank you. I mean like it's easy to dismiss somebody because they have a conflict conflicting opinion or goes against the grain but that doesn't mean like that doesn't really I mean that doesn't have to mean anything like how they are as a person like you you shouldn't judge people really on like things like how they like some opinion you know I don't think but then at the same time yeah like um I don't know man, it's hard to explain, but like, if somebody is a bad person, then they are, and that doesn't have anything to do with their own personal opinion, you know, I don't know, it's weird to sort of explain, but I mean, bottom line is, just because somebody has a differing opinion, you shouldn't like dismiss all they say. Also depends to what extent and what it is about. Like you know, if you have a differing opinion on on something that like you think you should be able to hurt people, then of course that's just fucking stupid. And that person is probably is too, you know. But um, yeah, if it's something like personal drug use, like I don't personally do it, but. Uh, like if somebody does it, like I don't know, I don't have a problem with it. If they, if somebody does it and they're just doing like potential harm to themselves, but uh, if if they are doing harm to others, then sure, they're stupid people, they're bad people, and they shouldn't do that. Of course, I mean, for me it goes without saying. <clears throat> but if somebody like does something that just potentially harms themselves, then they should be able to do it. I mean, that also sounds very bad, but like, they should be able to, like, have control of their own body, you know. But, oh man, they should be aware of the risks, of course, for doing such things. But it's just like anything, you know, like riding motorcycles. They should be aware of the risks and do safety precautions. And just like that with like anything, you know. But they should be able to to like ride motorcycles if they want to. But at their own risk, you know. Unless they start like driving into uh, like other people. <laughs> like hurting other people. Then of course they shouldn't do it. They should be put behind bars. Of course. Like it's, uh, for me it's, for me it's p pretty simple and logical. But... For some other people it isn't, you know.
Anyway, let's keep going. So yeah, if you think that you should be able to like run over people with motorcycles and cars and stuff, then you, then you probably like you shouldn't you shouldn't be like you should probably be behind bars. But if you think that you should be able to ride a motorcycle, just just like ride a motorcycle like overall, then yeah, you should be able to. Anyway, I'm gonna rewind and stop talking. I need to shut the book up. So let's go. Just a small rant here for you. I'm excited about this long track. But I just have to say one more thing. I'm not for or against drug use. Like, I think I believe in some sort of personal freedom, but like, I'm not, I'm definitely not saying to use drugs because it's a bad idea and you shouldn't. Really. I mean, it's especially like where it's illegal, it's one of the most like worst ideas, ideas ever. So you shouldn't do that. But at the same time, I believe in some sort of personal freedom, to an extent. But I mean, yeah, it's very easy to fuck up and you shouldn't do it. And especially where it's illegal, it's like, very dangerous. You should not do that. Nor do I really think that you should drink alcohol either. But I do it myself though. Sometimes. <laughs> to a certain extent. But... Yeah, I mean, just just so you know, like I didn't I, I didn't want to preach anything really, because you shouldn't use drugs. Anyway, let's keep going. That was a very cool chorus. Whatever that was. So far. I'm pausing this because of copyright, but uh, I, re I really like this um, sort of jammy sections. 
I mean, this part where the... You know, it's like... I almost got like a 60s vibe from that, sort of. I mean, the... Like, the way like that you... Yeah, it's, it seemed like very j jammy, you know. But uh, yeah, it's cool. Let's rewind a few seconds and go. <laughs> Very weird bass sound. I mean, they must have muted everything except very high frequencies. Wait, wait let me do that. They removed very much of the low end, just some mid highs. I think they've increased the like 3000 kilohertz by a lot. Let me listen for the low end. Yeah, there's not much low end at all. Very cool. Cool little short section. Now this is a very prime example of how like cool and creative like how cool sounds and how creative you can be on just a regular guitar with a whammy you know a bass I mean there's, there's there are a lot of effects on this but like I mean just the part of the the guitar here you know Yeah, I mean there are there are a lot of like natural things like like effects and whammies and stuff around here. There are there aren't like many you know very technical like you know things like these are mostly like things you can uh, achieve with an analog rig. I mean of course it's a very good production and it puts a whole new perspective to it. But like yeah. Like to me, like I think that it's much cooler what you can do with like analog things, you know, and a guitar. Like as I've shown before in some video, I think this is an Ebo, which is a sustainer, and it makes a very cool sound with some reverb, especially like fix some EQ, you know, you can like just turn a little bit on the knobs on the amp, and like it, it can sound really cool, and that is way cooler to me than to like have um you know hundreds of plugins on a computer and like make any sound you want like that doesn't seem as cool to me as like you know having some a few pedals and maybe one of these and like just uh yeah using like old school stuff it makes a very cool sound and very cool vibe to me Like, you can have too many creative possibilities.
That was very unexpected. That was what I thought was gonna happen, like, like you know, at that break. But like they waited like a minute or minute and a half, whatever, before they. I thought it was gonna like be quiet for a few, like a second, and then bam. But it wasn't. They sort of built it up. In this hypnotic sort of section. it happens so much in these songs like like not really like um well of course there are a lot of changes and stuff but like these songs like tell so much like you know gets like create so much emotion like way more than than it probably like you know they like make you think bigger than the song really is i mean at least i think like I know it's hard to explain, but um, like maybe like it's just a few let, like let's say um, like a theoretical scenario, a song has a few riffs, you know, like changes, a lot of changes, but it's, it's like one riff and one riff and one riff. So on paper, it's just a couple of riffs, but in reality, it's it sort of creates a very very big sound, very big feeling, you know of it all put together it's uh, like way more than it really is on paper you know I don't know if that makes sense but that that's sort of uh, one way that I feel but this sounds very cool like this riff and all of the riffs again.
so many changes in this song. Pause for copyright, but yeah, they really take you on a journey with these long songs, especially very like a roller coaster of emotions and stuff. Yep, and that is that. So, some lyrics. Hmm. Yeah, so that was Anima. Very cool album. I mean, uh, I really felt the, uh, the change in the sound and everything from uh, the previous releases. So, uh, Yes, yeah, very cool. And I'm very excited to continue on. Because uh, now it's time for Lateralis next. And then 10,000 days. But I mean, uh, yeah, I think these are probably two of the most well respected tool albums, I think. In their uh, history. So, yeah, anyway, Anima was a very cool listen, and uh, can't wait for the next one. Until I've, uh, like, really, you know, melted this one, because, uh, yeah, the music, I mean, I, I know when I'm ready, like, to go further and listen to future, uh, like, more stuff. But right now I'm gonna have to sort of let this album sink in because this was very different and more I don't know felt more uh, well it is more complex than the previous releases but it is more like um, more of this like you have to like sit and like take it in first before you go further I think but uh, yeah anyway the next albums will be will be a blast, I think. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Put a comment down below, like, subscribe, all that stuff if you want to. I'm really grateful for all the support. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Also, should I react to uh, The Perfect Circle, their whole discography, and Pucifer? Type down below. I think you've already done that, so I'm not going to ask you again. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you in Lateralis land next. <laughs> Goodbye.